नमस्ते आई एम मंजुला वेलकम टू मंजुला किचन टुडे आई विल बी मेकिंग ब्रेड पटेटो रोल्स ब्रेड विद स्पाइसी पटेटो फिलिंग मेक्स ए परफेक्ट स्नैक फॉर आफ्टरनून टी और आल्सो कैन बी सर्व एज एन एपिटाइजर ब्रेड पटेटो रोल्स आर क्रंची फ्रॉम आउटसाइड एंड स्पाइसी सॉफ्ट inside this is my granddaughter's request this recipe will make eight bread potato rolls for this recipe we will need four bread slices bread should be firm two medium size potatoes i have already boiled peeled and mashed it should make about 1/4 cup of mashed potatoes 1/4 cup of green peas One green chilli, finely sliced. One teaspoon finely chopped ginger. One tablespoon of chopped cilantro, hara dhania. One teaspoon of oil. One fourth teaspoon of cumin seed, jeera. Half a teaspoon of mango powder, amchur. One fourth teaspoon of red chilli powder, lal mirch. Half a teaspoon of salt. First, I will make the filling. Heat is on medium. We'll add the oil and wait few seconds till oil is moderately hot. Add cumin seed. As cumin seed cracks, add the green peas, green chilies. Ginger. Stir fry for just few seconds. Add potato, mango powder, red chili, salt, and cilantro. Now mix it well and just stir fry for. About a minute. You don't want to dry the spice too much, and you don't want to use too much oil in the filling because when you are frying the rolls, it will absorb more oil. This has been about a minute. Filling is ready. You don't want to dry the filling. It should be still moist. And check the spices. If you like more spice, this is the time to add. First, I will trim the edges of bread slices. I use these trims to make the bread crumb. Okay, and now I am going to slice them in two parts. Okay, this is ready. So I will divide the mix in eight and just make them in oval shape. these rolls are ready and now we are going to fill them in bread slices take one slice of bread and dip it from one side in the water and then keep it behind between your palm and squeeze the extra water out you don't want to make the bread uh, too wet because it's going to take the more oil when you are frying so now take one roll and just cover it from all side take the another slice of bread just dip it lightly and squeeze between your palm you don't want to have too much water otherwise it will soak more oil while you are frying now take one filling and just uh, wrap it around okay 
and we will do all of them. All the rolls are ready. I will leave them for about 5 minutes uh, before I fry. This way most of the water from the bread will evaporate and while we are frying it will not absorb that much oil. Now I will fry bread rolls. Oil should be moderately hot. Okay, oil should not be smoking. Let's drop them. And wait for about uh, half a minute and then turn them. You should fry them all around the brown, golden brown color. Okay, it's getting nice color and this should take about uh, two and a half to three minutes. Red rolls are looking good and keep turning them so they have the same color all around. Potato rolls are looking really nice, nice color. They are ready. It has taken me about three minutes and put them over the paper towel so it absorbs the extra oil. Bread potato rolls are looking yummy and very delicious. I like to serve them with hari cilantro chutney and tamarind sweet and sour chutney. You can find the recipes for both chutneys on my website. Try these bread rolls serving for your next get together and enjoy seeing how fast they disappear. Thank you. Till we meet again, check out more recipes on manjulaskitchen.com.